Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. And today I'm going to show you how niacin, when applied topically to the skin and used consistently, can restore and maintain youthful skin elasticity even for much older people. Also, using niacin topically is obviously an easily accessible alternative for anyone who can't tolerate the famous niacin flush when taken internally. You can use either the traditional flushing niacin or its non-flushing form niacinamide as both will achieve the same results on the skin. So the first way that niacin supports the skin is by stabilizing the epidermal barrier which ordinarily protects the body from excessive water loss through the skin. Applying niacin topically also improves the generation of both collagen and keratin which is especially important for keeping the skin smooth and supple. Niacin also stimulates the synthesis of fatty acids in the skin called ceramides, which moisturize and strengthen the skin barrier against toxins, pollution, and numerous other aggravations. And this really shouldn't be too surprising to anyone who already understands niacin's unparalleled effect on cholesterol and triglycerides. The primary cells in the epidermis are known as keratinocytes, and their job is to restore and maintain the epidermal barrier. This is just known by the rather bland blanket term cell differentiation, or in this case, keratinocyte differentiation. Topical niacin accelerates this restorative process while also boosting skin levels of NADP, or nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate, the critical coenzyme that is literally the body's metabolic fuel source for repairing DNA, mitochondria, and telomeres. And you should recall that niacin is the primary backbone for both NAD and NADP. As you can imagine then, topical niacin is extremely useful for skin conditions like acne and rosacea where there's a clear disorder of the epidermal barrier. To see niacin's critical importance for the skin, all you need to do is look at the condition that arises from a severe lack of niacin. As we know, a severe deficiency of niacin will lead to pellagra, and one of pellagra's most well-known symptoms is dermatitis particularly on areas of the skin regularly exposed to light. In fact, the very word pellagra in Italian translates to skin that is rough. Internal niacin is already well known for accelerating wound healing, primarily by repairing damage to the interior lining of the blood vessels, while also modulating the surrounding inflammation and increasing the oxygenation of the arteries. Niacin that's applied topically to the skin can also do these things. The age-related reduction in natural collagen synthesis is a large component to the development of wrinkles, along with accumulated glycation and specifically an NADP deficiency in aging skin cells. So using topical niacin regularly will restore your skin's NADP levels to that of much younger cells, while also stimulating the synthesis of both collagen and keratin. Overall, this means better dermal and epidermal cell growth while greatly smoothing the skin's surface structure. Again, the very best results with niacin are seen with consistent, ongoing use. So yes, using topical niacin consistently along with a low inflammatory diet and an active lifestyle will lead to a reduction in wrinkle depth on the face. You can achieve all of these effects with either the regular flushing niacin or its non-flushing form niacinamide. The beauty industry has utilized niacin this way for many years, so there's no shortage of facial formulas that have niacin among their many ingredients. But I think you could do better by getting a bulk niacin powder like this and mixing it yourself into something like aloe vera gel, like I've done here, or something similar. So if you want the many benefits of niacin, but just can't tolerate the itchy sensation of the flush, this might be a better alternative for you. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.